hustle nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Okay. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? <laughs> no, I need Boy, did I hit that, that thing? Did I hit it? Yes, yes. Ooh, how you doing? Hey, man, look, man. Hey, man, we got a, a gym in here today, man. Been calling a lot of ruckus on the on the internet here lately. It's a lot of things going on with this guy, man. Hey, man. But the boy come here to let us know what's really going down today, man. Hey, man, that boy O'Shea is in the building, man. What's going on? Say, man, you got a lot of nerves, man. <laughs> you got a lot of damn nerves. You know what I'm talking about? Man, you made a song, man, and hey, man, you done messed around, and you got everybody around listening at this damn song. I don't even know you. Hell, my son sent me that song talking about, Dad, check this out. I said, man, this can't be real, what I'm seeing right here. I'm really trying to figure out, is this a, a fake move or a real move? You know what I'm saying? Like, this might be, you know, an act. This could be something that was an act-up, dramatized situation to keep people's attention. I don't know. My son, you got to interview him. I said, man, well, if, if God say the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So check it, man. Hey, man, O'Shea, man, we like to go back in your background. You know what I'm saying? Just as a kid coming up, are you from Oak Cliff? No. Nah. Where you from? I was born in Ohio. Oh, you ain't even from Texas. Hold up. No, hold hell up. no. Hold ain't no up. holding no, up, no, nigga. Hold up. You ain't from Texas, nigga. Hold up. You repping that hey, Texas. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, go ahead. My, my mama moved down here when I was two. Oh, now that's a little different. We got to try to have so some. So when I go to Ohio, I got to use GPS. When I'm in Texas, I know where I'm going. Oh, yeah, we got compassion on you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so so where did you move to when you moved here to? Like what area, what parts? Uh, DeSoto up until like I was six and then Lancaster for the rest of it. Wow, you one of them L boys. You was with Tom Tom them or something. Well, they was a little older than me. I'm just I mean, saying, you know, y'all all from in over the there. same era, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know about you boys over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how did you, how, how was it coming up, though, in, in, in Lancaster? And, uh, or either, just just the whole area over there, because all of us together. Yeah, it was cool. It wasn't, wasn't nothing bad, but it's the same as any city. There's some good parts, there's some bad parts. Was you one of them niggas that tried to be hood and move to Oak Cliff? No, nah, I ain't never lived in Oak Cliff. Okay. I ain't never tried to be hood a day of my life. <laughs> You know, nigga try to be hood, I'm going to move to East Dallas. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Let me move to the project. Nigga, I want to show these niggas I'm hard. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so just tell me, like, man, so um, you, um, you, you, when you came up, was you in a single parent home? Yeah, let's it, talk to this. Let's get, yeah. just get the spill on this nigga. Man. <laughs> yeah, it was just me and my mama and my sister. Okay. As that usual. Was so, and you're the oldest? No, nah, my sister is. Sister. So you baby boy. Yeah. Okay. That nigga got everything he want. He was eating out the cereal box without the Say, milk, just man. grabbing his damn hand in it. Nigga, I know you was doing it. I already know it. Listen, quit you was quit, hey, 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 quit telling my business. Yeah, Come on, eating right? the Come cake on. mix and all that. This nigga cake mix, he eats just, just a little cream filling off the top, nigga, and put it back. I don't trust you. <laughs> no, nah, don't don't trust me if I deny it. I ain't gonna deny it. <laughs> so where was daddy? In, in Ohio. Dang. I met him a few times, but wasn't there for you. Nah. So you still don't even have a relationship even today. Nah. He he had wrote me when I was in prison, but it was like a a bullshit letter. It wasn't nothing like, look out, son, you grown. I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Can we make something work? It was on some whole other shit. Wow. So you never asked him why he was never there for you. Yeah, but he he was on some like uh, that shit. Old. You grown now? Let that shit go. So I was like, oh, no. Nah. You, you got kids? I do. I got a daughter. Okay. And you there for her? Every day. Okay. So wow. you try to make up for all the lost time you had with him. Make it up for her. Yeah. I don't, okay. I don't never want her to feel how I feel. Because I still feel that to this day. And I'm almost 30. Really? Yeah. That void is still there. Yeah. Didn't no feel come through? Hmm? A feel. You know, what Shaq say feel is my father. You know, no, y'all, y'all, no. you don't know. You too young. You don't know. But Shaq said Phil was his father because his biological didn't bother. Was there somebody that was in your life or a male figure, a male somebody figure. that could kind of yeah. give you guidance? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because yeah. that's usually the way God do. He always mm -hmm. find a way to bridge the gap. You yeah, know what I, I'm I saying? I had somebody like that. He's still yeah. around too. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. We always want to show love to the fields, Ryan and Stein. You if your daddy I mean? was watching this right now, what would you say to him? Get him, baby. Yeah, I'm yeah, just get asking. him. Yeah, let's see what this nigga gonna say. Just let it out. 
Listen, I ain't come here to get emotional. <laughs> I'm finna go. <laughs> so, no, so you telling me you man, he wasn't even bothered because I, it's been no, so long. The reason why, really the reason, but the reason why, can you say you still have that in you right now? But when you have children, when you have something in you that you haven't really just let go, you need to let it go some way, somehow. Whether you just like talking to him, or that he's not here with you to let it go, so it doesn't trickle over. I know that you're. You're there for her, but some way, somehow, it does trickle over into um, your children because you have that that you haven't let go. I, you know I what it. I mean? Yeah. So that's the re- yeah. So that's the reason why I say, you know, however you got to let it go. Write a letter, whatever. Just got to let it go. I wrote yeah. a song about it. That's good therapy right there. Okay. Yeah. Like you write a song about everything. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, that's all I got. I mean, nigga, I'm, you write a lot of songs. <laughs> nigga, you write a song on a nigga, boy. You so wrote a song on your daddy. You done wrote songs on everybody, nigga. You wild. Hey. <laughs> he got to let it out. <laughs> he got to let it out, man. No, nah, but so <clears throat> when you when you, uh, when you you think about, you know, coming up, um, you know, being one of those kids that, mis- you know, mischievous, getting into stuff, because uh, you had to be one of those guys at some point because you ended up uh, locked up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when did you first start saying, you know, I'm going to get myself, I'm, I'm about to make a move on this, or, or, or man, I might not should do this, but I got to take a chance. I'm trying to come up. Shit, when I ended up in prison. Oh, that was the first yeah, time? Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't getting in trouble when I was younger. So I that was in, the first time you ever had something like that yeah, happen? I got in trouble when I was like 17 because I stole the game from Walmart. But as far as like you real and my trouble. You bro. Hey. Y'all was some gut. Walmart hates you little niggas. You know what I'm saying? They, they do. Because they my son, he gets sick of me telling. I, I mm-hmm. tell this all the time. He probably like, Daddy, why don't you shut up? I don't steal no like that. He was with some boys. That's what his grandma say. But they got all caught, you know what I'm uh-huh. saying? And that's I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do him dirty. I usually drag that nigga down. Yeah, I'm gonna let the nigga make it today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but at any rate, so you you we, we want to talk about uh, um, this project five eight eight six six dash one seven seven. You know, I want to really go into this project because I never lately I hadn't heard nothing in Dallas to pique my interest like this one did. This one right here made me say, you know what, damn, what's going on over there? You know what I'm saying? And I think that was a that was something that 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 uh um messed with me. And you was you was you wrote a song on there called Letter to a Snitch. Mm-hmm. And when you did that, you uh you that that's another, like I said, that's the first time I heard of you because I, I hadn't tapped into you. Did you do music be pre you know, before yeah. you went to Yeah I did. Okay. And um, so here, here, here's where it, where it gets interesting for me. You wrote a letter to a guy, and when you wrote this letter, I mean, you wrote this song. When you wrote this uh, a song, you say, you know, let me uh, put this out. Did it be, was it a letter at first? That's what I want. No. It was just straight going to be a song when you brought it out. Yeah. Okay, now, let me ask you this. Um, so when you wrote this song, was this a... Uh, uh, was this, uh, 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 Fact or fiction? What was this? All fact. Okay, this is a real life situation. Real life situation. Okay. Um. So, you go to jail for twenty four months. Well, twenty two months. Twenty one total. Twenty one total. Nineteen. Was you eight. sentenced to twenty four? I was sentenced to twenty four. But you did twenty one. Y'all out on good behavior. No, well, you only got to do eighty five. Okay. Cool. Eighty five percent. Cool. So. But before, let's go before you went, okay? You and it was a few of y'all involved. It was you and Figs mm-hmm. and a guy named Cornelius. Mm-hmm. And so the Cornelius part of it, Figs and you, were you friends with, with who was you friends with first? I was friends with Cornelius first. Okay, how did you guys meet? I was reaching out to him on uh, Facebook. Why? Because I had a song that I had put out and he had his profile look like he could help you take your music career to the next level. Okay. So I'm reaching out like, bro, fuck with me, fuck with me, fuck with me. And I had made a song. It was called I Want to Know. And okay. I, and I mentioned All Star Magazine in the song. Okay. And so once that song started catching traction, he started fucking with me around that time. And then we just, it went from there. Okay. So, and, and as y'all, y'all was friends and y'all was hanging out. And y'all was y'all was uh, doing music. Mm-hmm. Uh, how long would you say y'all was doing music and hanging out before y'all was, met Figs? Probably about four months. Okay, so four months into it, 
You knew Figs or he knew Figs? He knew Figs. So he introduced you to Figs. Okay. Now, now, when he introduced you to Figs, y'all get into some mishap. Not right off the bat. They you was niggas real, they didn't was, come off the gun doing old crazy stuff? Nah, because they was real secretive. They was so real him and Figs key. was hanging out together doing stuff that they wasn't letting you in on at first. Yeah, because I'm just here to rap. That's all I'm here to do. I'm trying to get on. With so the why music. did he introduce you to Figs in the first place? Did well, he ever Fig, say why? Figs, Figs was just around. Mm-hmm. He was just always around. So I knew he was an artist as well. So oh, okay, that makes yeah, sense. He, Both he, of y'all artists hanging around Cornelius. Mm-hmm. Beats. Was he managing Figs as well? Nah, he wasn't managing Figs. Oh, okay. Same, just he, he, know, he know you? he know what he's doing. Was he, he managing yeah. you? Okay. He know what he's doing behind the board. He know what he's doing behind that camera. So, I mean, he good at what he do. He's just a piece of shit. Well, I'm, I want to get to the part where what makes him a piece of shit? Because you got to understand, you guys was friends. Y'all were hanging out. You reached out to him. I did. You, wanted opp- you was a, trying to create an opportunity <clears throat> for yourself with him. Mm-hmm. And then y'all get together. He not a piece of shit at first. Nah. Y'all hanging out, y'all, whatever y'all do, y'all pop bottles or whatever, y'all hanging out, having a party. Did y'all release some music together, you know, while you was dealing with it? Yeah, I put out a few songs. And y'all was hanging out, and where did where did the piece of shit come from? Like, where, when, when did it get to that point? Because he started, you know, you be around somebody and they start doing things and saying things, and you just kind of be looking at them like, what type of shit is that? Like he, what? He, Give me an example. Example. I mean, it's it's a dumb example, but uh, it, it's something it. that made me kind of look at him sideways. It was a chick I was trying to talk to. Nigga, peeled you for your bro. It's always I knew a woman. And, and, I knew and he, he hit the chick in her DM like, you need to get with a real nigga that can do something for you. You fucking around with these peons. He but knew I, you was messing with him? He knew I was trying to talk to her, but he kept saying, oh, it ain't your girl, so it don't count. Like, that type of shit was happening. And I'm like, man, I, I ain't feeling this shit. Damn, and it was just like little shit. And, and it just, every time, it was like, man, this nigga might not be as solid as he portrayed to be. Okay. And so end up you you basically at that point y'all start you see you say, okay, I don't trust this nigga like I thought I did. I I'm getting to know this nigga now. Mm-hmm. I know this nigga got some situations where I ain't even trying to deal with him on that level. So as y'all get there, when does it become a thing where it's a issue for as you guys you meet figs Y'all hanging out. When does it become something where you guys about to get yourself in a mix or some trouble? We get into a, a argument. He, uh, me and him, he introduced me to, to a lick. Um, Figs was paying for it. Figs paid him, but he didn't pay me what I was supposed to get. Who didn't pay you, Figs? Cornelius. Cornelius, he holding the money. Y'all got that nigga, he leading it. Yeah, nigga with the money that's paying the people is in charge. Go ahead. So, <clears throat> he don't pay me. So, I'm steady asking him, like, hey, what's up with the bread? What's up with the bread? Oh, man, Figs didn't give it to me, man. He he hoeing us. He hoeing us. Oh, so it's Figs. Okay, I get yeah, it. Figs, so, he go, you go through him. Nigga. He the mill man. Yeah, he the mill man. I'm sorry. I, I got that now. So, about two weeks go by, I get a phone call. And Figs, he just like, hey, man, I'm going to tell you something, and I need your word that you ain't going to say nothing about it. You're just going to take it and, and move on. And he's like, hey, man, I paid the nigga that rack that you was supposed to get. He said, fuck you. He done did too much for you. He ain't giving it to you. I'm going to pay you, though, but keep that between us. You just seem like a good dude. I'm going to give you that bread. And after that, mixed in with all the other shit that I was feeling, it was just hard for me to walk around and just be cool like I had been being cool. And so we ended up falling out, and I never told him, but we ended up falling out. I mean, he know now because of the other interview I did, but I never told him about it. And we just fell out, never talked to the nigga again. Okay, so you kind of cut ties with him. Yeah. Or did he cut ties with you? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Yeah. So y'all, and so once you cut ties with him, do you ever talk to him again? I ain't, I ain't talked to him again. From this day to that one? No. Well, you know, he, far as... He got on that live... That was the first time yeah, you've talked yeah. to him. So, okay, so you end up, once, and we're going to fast forward, you end up, y'all end up getting into some trouble. Mm-hmm. How does he end up being telling anything on you when y'all wasn't talking at the time? Because he was still talking to Figs. Him and Figs still rocking. Yeah. So, so Figs went to go pick up something. He asked Cornelius to drive him, and the Feds hit him. 
where they got to their destination. Hit them hard. Hit them hard. Okay, but you not in the, you not in the mix. With I'm not in the mix. I, I quit fucking around. I wasn't feeling it. And this was How a long? different. Hold on. This was a different situation or a different job from whatever that y'all got paid for at first. Yeah, this was this was different. It was all the same, but this was completely different. This particular thing they was doing, it didn't have nothing to do with me. Okay. Really? Yeah, it didn't have nothing to do with me. Okay, so you... And I want to revisit, hold on, the part where you said that um, he gave um, Cornelius the money, all the money, and Cornelius didn't pay you, but then Fix turned around, called you, and said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and pay you. Because normally when I hear situations like that, I'm always like, well, you're going to have to go deal with Cornelius. I'm not going to pay you because he's like, that's extra money he paying out of his pocket to give you. Do you know if he ever went back to Cornelius and said, man, I need my money back? No, nah, no, nah, he did. Y'all were getting so much damn paper that y'all didn't really care to go back. Y'all was getting it. I like it. You know what I'm saying? You niggas was really doing, y'all niggas didn't, y'all was sitting on top of the world. Like that, uh, like that album that, uh, yeah, 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 them boys put out eight ball. I think that's them niggas. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> sitting on top of the world. So, so when y'all was when you guys was uh, uh, doing this, um, you, when they get busted, how do you hear about? Damn, they looking. Are uh, they are they, uh, they after me too? I didn't know they was after me. They caught me off guard. Where five were you months at? later, I, I was done. I wasn't in the mix. Five months later, they got arrested in February. I didn't get picked up till almost June. Was they still locked up, or did they get out? No, nah, they got out. And when they got out, they tried to act like they hadn't been locked up or what? This nah, like a they all. And they like, gave you a call to say, "Hey." Well, I, I hadn't talked to Cornelius. I, me and him didn't no, talk. No, I'm talking about Fix. Fix yeah, didn't Figs call you. Me. That's what, how I found out. What Figs and what said. Figs said? They, they on our tail. <laughs> no, Figs was fucked up, man. He was fucked up. He was he, paranoid. He said they got me. They got me, but he was just like, "Man, I need to meet you. Meet me at the gym." My like, bet. I meet him at the gym. You know, we getting. He want to go to the sauna, then he want to go to the, the hot tub. Was he wearing a wire? No. I'm just saying. But, but that, that was That's his concern. That's why he probably went to the hot yeah, tub. Yeah, that, that, was, that was his concern. Who wearing the damn wire? Yeah. This sound like a movie. Because he was fucked up because he found out Cornelius told. How so, did he find out that Cornelius told? Because it was told? in his paperwork. In, who, in his paperwork? In his in indictment. In his, in his, his indictment. His name was in it? Did yeah. you see it? Or are yeah. you just talking? No, I seen it. I got I, it. It was in mine when I ended up getting arrested. And it says Cornelius' name yeah. on there. Yeah. It says that he told it. <laughs> he told it. Damn. And you was like, dang, you know, you couldn't believe. Well, you should have knew that he didn't like you anyway. He probably just told you in as a bonus. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Niggas, get that nigga. You, <laughs> you got the paperwork with you today? I do. Yeah. Where is this? Where? Let me see it. You won't see it. Yeah, pull it out. Yeah. Yeah, let's see this paper. I want you to let me see this. Cause I want to see Cornelius' name on your indictment. And is it? I mean, no. The only reason why I was asking because I saw clips of um, when Skull was Skull, doing, yeah, Chris Skull. and I know that um, you showed him being in the interrogation room. But I don't. I, I maybe I just didn't see that part where you showed the paperwork. So I wasn't sure if you even showed the paperwork on I didn't, Skull because I tried, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't show up on the camera. Oh, okay. Swipe that way. Okay. Be careful though. You might see something. Don't burn a nigga up, my nigga. Don't burn a nigga up, my nigga. The location. I'm looking for the boy name. How long you been rapping? Uh, forever. But as far as like actually taking it, taking serious, it serious, since like 2017. 2017. What made you get into it? I just always seriously. loved music. Uh, seriously, I just, you no, know, I felt like I had something to say. That it wasn't was like because a lot of people be like, somebody came to me and be like, man, you hard, you hard, you need to this, this, this. It wasn't no nothing like that. No, I just cool always been doing first, real name. Roderick Turknet. Roderick Turkney. You see it? Yeah, I see it. Turkney was given. And you should text him just that part, that clip, so he can put it up whenever we do the interview. Whenever we, you know. I got you. I'll put it up. I I got you. It'll pop on the screen. (laughs) I got you. You sure about this? It's. it's, 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 (laughs) (laughs) You want to see it? Yeah. Roderick Turkney, that's his name. Mm -hmm. And so, so he seems to think that he didn't have anything to do with you guys' case. He, he, seem, he says that because he never said O'Shea St. John when he was in the interrogation room. Okay. So I, I killed all that on my last interview. Let's take your name, let's take you saying my name out of the equation. When you sat down in the interrogation room, 
They asked you questions. You answered those questions. You had credit cards and cell phones on you. You tell them information. One of the charges that they told him he was facing was ultimately one of the charge I ended up getting. He didn't say O'Shea St. John, but he told what we were doing. He pointed them in directions that they weren't looking in. That's why they didn't come get me until five months later because they had to go do research. Now there was somebody else that was telling, but he he wasn't a friend. He wasn't he wasn't close to us. Who he didn't was owe the us other nothing. person that was telling? I'm not gonna say his name because I, I really believe he was a federal informant, but okay. it is in the paperwork. His I'm name. just not gonna say it yet. Okay. Mm. So if he was a federal informant and yes he wasn't a friend, but I mean he would still have all the information that Osh- that um Turtneck had as well to be able to tell. Well, no, because he wasn't a part. Cornelius was actually in so the mix with us. So he didn't know everything. Yeah, no, he just played his role. Cornelius was actually doing shit with us. Mm. So and then tried to act like he wasn't. What about defamation of character when he says like uh, he gonna sue you and he, he has lawyers? He can't because if you get on Google and you go to NBC, everything that I'm saying is the same thing NBC said. It's public record. It's public record. So I'm defamation is when you lying. I ain't lying. You read that paperwork right there. I ain't lying. Yeah, I see his name on it. You go to Google, it say the same thing. You go to Google, type in his first and last name. It's an NBC News on. article. You're going to see it say he waived his Miranda rights. What do it mean when you waive your Miranda rights? Yeah. If I'm lying, is NBC lying too? Is CBS News lying? So what made you put his, because uh, we've never, we never seen this before. What made you, because cause were you trying to promo the, the 5866, uh, 58866-177 uh, project? Or, or was it something that really you was like, I got to tell people about this? I got to tell people. Because just think about how many people done fucked with him or maybe even did some shit they ain't had no business doing with him and didn't know. Think about all the people who possibly wanted to do some business with him. They need to know. People need to know that shit. Why haven't you put out the whole two-hour interrogation? That's a good question. You see what I'm saying? If it's something there and you say that this guy ratted you out, why haven't you dropped it? I honestly don't know. You see what I'm saying? Because if he done it and you saying that this, this, what if this tape that you putting out don't have the incriminating information that you're saying that he done? And it, I'm not worried about that because it do, but I but get what you're saying. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? The people, we see, because I do clips, so I know about clips. I can take a portion of this video right here and I can clip it just right. You want it back? No. no. You see what I'm saying? And bam, you know, give you a thought that your mind, you will go there in thought. When will you take and drop this whole two-hour interrogation so we can understand what you really got? Because we don't know what you really got. And I think that's the part. That might be the reason why I haven't, because I, I want him to be a little nervous. Because a part of me feel like he don't think I got it. And that's why he being so loose at the mouth right now. So is it something that you only you have obtained? Yeah, I, or do, I, he, do he have it? No, he, he don't got it. He don't got it. Because if he had it, he wouldn't be... Like he made a comment that said, oh, you see he didn't put the rest of it out. If he seen what was in that video for himself, he wouldn't be saying shit like that. He don't want that video to come out. Do you, do you have so the video? same way how you obtain it, you he, tell me he can't obtain it the same way? No, nah, because he didn't get charged. He didn't get indicted. That was in my discovery. He, don't, he didn't have a case, so he can't get no discovery. So Figaro, if Figaro got his discovery, he got the same thing I got. Did you... This was a part of your paperwork party when you got down there to the feds. Yeah. Did they have a paperwork party? Yeah. Had to, had to see what you done when you got there. Yeah. Make sure you didn't do nothing crazy that they didn't have to, you know, want to pile that pressure to you. No. You know what I'm saying? So, so when you think about what you're alleging that he done to you, what you're saying that he done, um, do you think you and him could ever recover from this? No. And was this the first time you've been to prison? Yeah. Uh, how, how did it, how, did the people turn it back on you? Who was the people? Like people. The I people didn't tell you nobody. Felt like you was going, were going to be there for you. Did anybody? Did you lose an old lady or something? No. Okay. I'm just no. asking. Oh, everybody held you down. Yeah. Uh, you know, Run DMC say hard times spread just like the flu. You know what I'm talking about? When you're doing time, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> 
you know, when you do a time, you know, niggas would turn their back and walk off. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, if you've done time and you say you didn't tell anybody? No, outside of my family and my friends. No, they I stayed ain't. down? Yeah. They held you down? Yeah. That's dope. That's Hey, boy, that's something to be proud of. Because there's a bunch of stories out there. You've seen some of the people that didn't get held down. Every day. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you're married, right? I'm engaged. You're engaged? Yeah. So what did your um, fiance, when you got in trouble and, you know, you, you went to her and told her all the stuff that was going on, um, that they were looking for you and all of that, what did she have to say about the whole situation? I got in trouble before I met her. Mm. Oh, okay, so... I, I, had, I had already been arrested. I was out on a PR bond. And you told her. And that's when you yeah. met her. I told okay. her on our second date that I was fighting some situations. Legal issues. Yeah. Why did you get 22 uh, months and Figs got 47 months? 24. Uh, well, 24 and 40. Yeah, 47 and 24. You see what he, I'm saying? He, if you was the coach, because we trying to figure this out. Like, you was the. I've never been was, in trouble. Oh, he had. He had. A, I don't. I don't know what his record is, but I know what he was accused of was greater than what I was accused of okay. as well. They accused him of three hundred seventy-four thousand dollars worth of fraud. They only accused me of like nineteen. So it was just a big difference, and his charge is different than mine as well. Okay. Okay, and um, when you think about uh, just have you contact rope figs or anything? Yeah, I talked to him on the phone. Okay, I talked to him. Yeah. That's still your partner. Yeah. Put okay. money in his books. Damn. <laughs> she want the nigga to eat and everything down there. Because that's what be, that's how you support somebody when they when they go out. I know, I know. Hell, much okay. as I done took my money and put on these niggas' books. She just talking experience, nigga. To be honest, no, I haven't. <laughs> no. You need to no, put okay. something on that nigga books, dog. You out here eating good. Look at you. You're healthy. <laughs> So, <laughs> what is these sprites up here for, man? This water? What you got going on? Because that's what he was sipping on in the interrogation room. He was drinking a sprite in the water. I sure want to see this two hour long tape. You need to drop that tape. You need to let me know. Just send that thing to me. I ain't going to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what he. That, and what? what they, they drunk a lot of them? No, he just drunk one. And when he drunk it. Did he seem like he was comfortable? Because I heard a part in that. What did it say in that video? Uh, you know, what if, if I give you this, what you going to give what me? What you going to do for me? What you going to do for me? And you, you stopped know? it like right at the end of that part. And I'm like, you're trying to build up that suspense. Like, why would you just stop it like right there? You didn't let them we just say something. We want to know some. what you got, man. We really do. I'm, I'm watching because it don't mean if you don't drop what you say you got, we don't know what you got. We just know what you're saying and what the paperwork so said. So let me you ask you a question. So we is that see the it. reason why you have that on your shirt because of what he said? Yeah. What you going to do, do for me? What you going to do for me? Yeah, what you going to do for me? Wow, I didn't see that part. Damn. Ain't that a rat? That's, that's, <laughs> and some cheese. Damn piece of cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, don't you know, let me ask you this. Do you not know that what what, what you're saying about this guy, it could cause him to be in situations because I think about, you know, I really think about Nipsey Hussle and Eric Holder and him coming back and doing whatever he done because they got in, you know, he called him a snitch or whatever. And I keep thinking about that. I mean, this thing could get, it's already serious when you, when you make allegations or, and you, you guys are out here like that. Is there any way we can diffuse it or, or make it to where, you know what I mean? Well, you got to understand with me, I ain't no gangster. I ain't no street nigga. I ain't never been one. I ain't never tried to pretend to be one. Now you put your hands on me. I'm a man, so I'm gonna defend myself. I'm not on that. But if that's what he on and that's what he come with, I made a decision to put all this shit out. So I got to be prepared to come take whatever come with it. Hmm. But it's not a case of what you on or what he's on. That word is so serious where other people can take that on top of their head because they don't like that. They they could, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. He knew what he did. Shit, we all had to go do time. Even the, the other man that snitched went, went to jail. Everybody everybody went to jail except him. This is his lick. This is his lick. He got to take it. We had to take ours. I took mine. Figs took his. The other. So you said the other guy who snitched went to, did time. So if you're calling this guy a snitch, how comes he didn't do time? Who? Cornelius? Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. That's the million dollar question. You got to ask the DA in Fort Worth that question. Do you still think that he's working with him? You know, because once you start informing, you know, 
I had a thought about that, but I feel like his name wouldn't have been so public. Like, I feel like his name wouldn't have been in that news article if he was working because I thought that they keep them secret. That's what I thought, but I don't know. It's, it's a possibility. Time going yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I heard him. He's very adamant to say that his name was not on your paperwork. Now you just read the paperwork. If your name wasn't in my paperwork, why was that in my discovery? Why was your interrogation video in my discovery? Yeah. Wow, this is it's something, man. You know, like I said, I don't, I don't know how to, I usually know how to bridge the gap pretty good. I usually try to bring people together. That's what I think I'm doing anyway. But this here is a serious situation, a serious allegation mm -hmm. that, that, that you're proposing and that you're showing proof of, your proof. He has his proof. He was saying, I, I seen him on Crisco. He's pleading his case. You know what I mean? And um, he seems to think it's something other than, but you're saying what you're saying. He got his legal team. They're, <laughs> they're trying to sue you for defamation of character. Are they, they're alleged, stu you know, going to come at you about what you're saying about his character. What are you going to do to be ready for that? You just Are you going to lawyer up or y'all just, just going to wait and see how the chips fall? You think it's cap? Most definitely. Because okay. I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't lying. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's not like I'm just dry as saying some shit that can't be backed up. Wow. Yeah. Because if that's the case, you need to sue NBC too. When I seen you on Crisco, um, I, I, I know I seen Rainwater come into the situation. Was his name on the paperwork as well, or did you see his name anywhere? It was in this paperwork I just showed you. Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't on that page. Name. I didn't see it on that page. Yeah. So. Oh well, you're supposed to swipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you saying his, his, his name is in, in there too. So everybody being mentioned. And I'm just, it's like they talk, everybody like it's a whole whole everybody like the whole thing. I mean, were you running with him as well or no? You didn't even know him at the time when this happened. You didn't like, damn, what are you doing in here? Did you know who it was when you read it? You're like, damn, did you tell him? Like, your name on the paper, boy? I don't know him. You don't know him? No. Okay, cool. I'm just saying, because y'all came on the live. You know, y'all, you was you on there when Sco did that? Did yeah, I, but I ended up getting off. I there. got off because I told him I wasn't finna do all the lip wrestling with somebody who wouldn't talk like that if they was in front of me. So I got off. Okay. Yeah, and that, and Rena, that's why I asked that question because of the fact of, all y'all was kind of, you know, yeah. I didn't. You know, I got off. I'm not interested in that right there. Yeah, you don't want to lip wrestle with yeah. him like that. Uh -huh. If you want to see me, come see me. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. So what do you? What? Let's talk about this album a little bit. Um, what? How are you going to market and promote it? The same way you've been doing it. Yeah, same way. Uh, what do you expect out of it? I mean, because this go, it, it could go. It's just my story. You know, it's a lot of people who who done went through the system. They got family that went through the system, and it's a lot of stuff that people don't really talk about that went through it or know somebody that's going through it. So I just spoke on certain things. Like, see, I talked about nights when I cried in the bunk. You know what I'm saying? I went, I, in the bunk, I, I, yeah. went I went deep like that because it's just it's just a relatable album, that's all. How many songs on this ten. project? Ten, 10 songs? Yeah. All of them two minutes and 33 seconds. Nah. Yeah, nigga, I know how y'all doing these new music. I'm used to nah. five minute songs, nigga. We rock all night. Well, I got one on there that's about six minutes. I'm, I'm, I made that I just, just for you. One. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so is it it's, is it out the project the whole yeah, time? Yeah, it dropped on the seventeenth. Cool, man. So how's it doing? It's doing good. Doing good. It's doing good. Is, is it doing what you would expect it to be doing? Yeah. Or would you want it to do? How are you gonna? Because I it's only been four days. So okay. You you can't really just I'm not Drake you know what I'm saying I'm still local so I can't expect just hundred thousand streams first week but any any stream I'm grateful for because you don't got to listen I got it I got it what about um, top three artists of all time dead or alive do you listen to other people because you so damn serious like <laughs> you looking at a nigga like you just well no nah, no nah, nigga you that penitentiary got you conditioned my nigga nah. you staring at me like you got you got something just, to say it's just eye nigga. contact man and they can't it's, 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 like I don't know, I, I ain't told nothing on you, nigga. Don't, <laughs> don't run up on me, nigga. I ain't in it. No. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but tell me. Top three artists of all time, did a lot. Nigga, you don't like nobody? You just... I ain't that, 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 that's, that's tough. That's nigga, tough. That, 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 okay, give me... Y'all niggas trip me out. That's, that's, that's tough, man. Any, okay. N nigga, don't say it, nigga. Cole. Cole. J. Cole, Number say two. the niggas a whole J name. Y'all niggas too fly, Cole. You know what I'm saying? You act like you know the nigga. <laughs> I'm about <J>. to. 
<laughs> J. Cole, who else? Number two. I'm going to say Lil Wayne. Yeah, it's a bunch of Lil Wayne. A lot of folks like Lil Wayne. Who else? I'm going to say Biggie. Biggie? Yeah. That didn't throw me off a little bit. Biggie was a lyricist, man. Biggie. Biggie was a lyricist, bro. Yeah, he was. One of the dope ones. I like lyrics. I can, you, now, let me see what your top three again. Say them again. J. Cole. Uh-huh. Lil Wayne. Uh-huh. And Biggie. Nigga, you ain't you ain't from Texas. You from Ohio for real, nigga. I just thought about that, nigga. You ain't saying now, nigga from Texas, nigga. You, man, you niggas is some real live haters, man. You said top three. Niggas, ain't well, nobody so top So you said nobody from Texas in, in nigga, the top crazy, three? Nigga, you crazy, man. This young nigga. Man, let me get, get him out of here. Get that boy out of here. But you ain't nobody in Texas hot to you? I didn't say, you didn't say hot. You Randall? said top three. It's and, top three. And, and, and just J. Cole. Nigga, that nigga fell playing no basketball, Scarface. nigga. Now what, nigga? Say, now man, listen, what? Listen, listen. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hard, nigga. <laughs> I love it, man. Nah, you don't, they dope. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga is lyrical as hell. And uh, yeah, yeah, that nigga, he, he had that, um, uh, Middle brother or something like that. Middle child. Middle child, something like that. That's your boy. You right know the there. name of it. Come no, on. I don't now. know the nigga yeah. name. <laughs> <laughs> so you like you you so so who who would you like to work with? You know what I'm saying? Shit. If you could, yeah. Which damn sure won't be nobody from Texas, so go ahead. Nah, no, don't do that. Yeah, man. nigga, yeah. You don't want to work with none of us, so you know, damn. I'd like to work with Big Sean. Look, there he go. He Look. headed up north again. This nigga <laughs> wild. That nigga ended up the wild as fast as he can. Next Big question. Sean. Nah, who else? Big shout who else? Cole. Of course, you Kendrick. Know, baby. You Listen, what you want me to say? What you want me to say? You, she from Jamaica. You can work with Beanie Man, nigga. <laughs> Hell, let's do something around this old. <laughs> Yeah, nigga, let's go now. I tell you what, I'm, 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 I'm open. I'm open. You open? I'm <laughs> open, man. I you work don't with work with Yellow Beezy. I work with Beezy. Nah, nigga, you I'll a trip, my oh, nigga. I'm man. mad as hell right now. I work, I'm open, man. Trap? Uh, shit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gonna be easy riders on anybody. I'm you open. don't give a damn about us. I'm I'm that's what Michael Jackson said. Uh, All I really say is that they don't give a damn about us. Come on, yeah, don't do me like that, man. Don't do me like that, man. Nah, so when you were sitting down doing, doing, during that time, you didn't think about nobody in Texas that you could work with? <laughs> man, I'm trying to come home, man. I not want to think about no music. <laughs> trying to get Did up out of there. Did you write music while you were gone? I tried, but I couldn't. You could Why? Cut, cut. I, I needed a beat. I, it's hard for me to write without a beat. Yeah, nigga, you know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, you don't know how to do no nah, beat. I nigga, write when you to the beat, up, you though, got to man. Hit that I mean, old. Yeah, we could do that, but... As far as yeah, writing music to, to come home 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 and record, da, da. Oh, so you get a pen, because nigga. Majority, you majority get a people pen. that have been on our platform that, that when they go away, they always write like a whole catalog. Yeah, I don't know how they do that. You get a pen good. and you... Them niggas cold blood. You, nigga, you go to work. You seen niggas doing that, didn't you? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> you seen that, it, didn't you? They getting busy. <laughs> this one right here, this the one right here. <laughs> nigga, that cold, you like, damn, I gotta get him. wherever. Yeah, nigga, but, be, nigga want to, nigga want to. When it's in you, you got to get it out, man. So you was in that hole, really thinking about the niggas that did you wrong, so you could write this letter, nigga. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I was, in, I was, I was fucked up. That shit was, that shit was rough. I wasn't, I wasn't that up. Cause you ain't really no really yeah. penitentiary dude like that. Yeah. So, so when you seen a nigga eating a, a, a damn a, a, a spread, you like, damn, I got to ride out like this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was rough. We you had the like, microwaves. Damn. We had boiling water. Yeah, so nigga, you said that whole drinking. What was the cool roughest time that coffee, you had nigga? while you were in there? <laughs> My roughest time? Yeah. What was that when that fucking ice storm hit and fucked up Texas? Was that February? February. Okay. The water was off for two weeks. They brought in some porta potties. Oh man! Oh, it was fucked up. That was that was my roughest time, nigga. You know what, man? You hey, was a man, nigga. You you got you just been spoiled. That's a baby boy. <laughs> you just coming out now. Hey, you want me to be? You want me to be? You were really, true? you were really in that old. You were, every time you, I like, wasn't the only win. one. There was niggas in there that been doing time since, since I was a kid. With, they was never fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what about when COVID hit? You say I'm gonna die in this hole all oh, day. Oh man, COVID hit. They stopped feeding us uh, hot meals. They gave us one hot meal a day, but that wasn't shit compared to that water. Man, y'all get no Johnny sack. Yeah, that's all they was giving us. They was giving us two Johnnies and, and, a, and a hot. 
Man, it, you know, in the state of Texas, uh, all these other, uh, the feds, where was you at? You weren't even, was you in just in Texas? You yeah, in I was Seagal in Big Bill? Spring. Oh, you in Big Spring? West Texas. And one of your niggas coming in like, damn, my nigga here too. Damn. Nah, it wasn't a lot of blacks. It was, it was mostly Mexicans. It was a few blacks. Niggas had them shanks in there for a nigga. Bro. Nah, I mean. Yeah, they had them. No, niggas. I them niggas dream listen. about shanks. They just all night long. <laughs> <laughs> niggas had them shanks in that hole. No, it, w- it wasn't just going down like that world. Oh, okay. There. Yeah, well, uh, you don't know. Things might have changed from the last yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, they shake that damn dorm down and some shanks falling everywhere. Nigga, you nervous as hell. Trying to <laughs> who in the hell in there trying to kill somebody? <laughs> no, that feds, though, how's the feds? Is it, is it something to where you don't never want to go back? Listen. <laughs> the judge could have been like Say fam I'm giving you 24 months He could have came back Five minutes later And been like You know what I'm gonna cut you a break That would have been enough for me You just wanted a little bit of break I would have never You wouldn't have never If they said You don't do nothing else You got a lot to come back You like nigga I'm good I'm going to church Yeah that was it That was enough I don't see how niggas Keep going back So you don't You don't plan on being Recidivistic huh Shit I don't even want A traffic ticket <laughs> Nah Man it's tough man So what what when when this album? I mean, are you performing it anywhere? Are you looking to do some shows? What, how are you gonna turn this thing up, man? And to be honest with you, it's a song that everybody's talking about right now. You are you capitalizing on that? Are you going? Are you performing it? Are you trying to figure that out? What, yeah, what I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying to set up a show right now. Don't let your moment just get lost, bro. Because you got a you got a movement going right now with this. I got you. So that's that's how, that's important, right? Mm-hmm. So, but you know, a lot a lot of it is new to me. So I got people like Dub. Okay. And and, and, and low DZ, they they talk to me, you know. Yeah. But well, so, yeah, yeah, you yeah, I'm right. I'm kinda just taking in whatever I could take in, learn from it, use what I feel like I should use. Well, I hope like like I said, I really uh, I hope things can I hope this thing don't lead to nobody, you know, nothing else going on. But I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not on that. You know? You I'm might not saying not I'm not saying it, he but not. somebody else might be on it. I'm just saying we don't wanna see no Black men die. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, nothing else. Uh, this, we can get past this. You got a shirt on with a damn rat on it with some cheese on it. Don't seem like it's slowing down. It seems it like it's been, I could have put his now. face on it. This this ain't shit. Yeah, nigga, you put the nigga face on it. I put his interrogation video in my in my video. I go there, but don't make it seem like this shirt just that bad. It can get worse. <laughs> damn. Boy, I tell you, hey man, this so a when new you way. say you gonna this drop a new the, wave, the nigga, two hour. It's some new wave. So when you say you're going to drop the two-hour um, video? Yeah, when you I, drop I, it. Put a date on it. Put a date on it. I can't put a date on it. See how you do it, nigga? We don't know what you got in that two-hour. Nigga, you bluffing. I'm bluffing. Yeah, you bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> you good. <boy. laughs> you got to bluff, you heard? I want to see the two-hour tape. So let me see it. You can keep it. I'll watch it with you. I want to see if yep. what you got is substantial evidence. And then I'll be like, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. My, my paperwork ain't enough. Now I want to see that video. I that know video, it. Everybody want to see that video. I know it. Am I right? Want to see what that two hours? Cause you cut that whole. You cut it just right. You, but, but we want to know what was on that video. You gonna know? You gonna know? You gonna drop it? I will. One when the day. time is right. When I feel like the time is right, I'm gonna drop it. Damn. Well, anything? Did we leave anything out? No. You sure? Mm-hmm. Did you? Is there? It, uh, how can people get a hold of you uh, uh, if they trying to follow you, follow your music, follow your movement? On Instagram, it's official O'Shea. The official is spelled with an O. I mean a zero. And Facebook is just O'Shea St. John. Wow, man. Um, what? 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 One thing I can say is, man, the song it, it, you got to write. Who produced that song? <sighs> you don't know. You got it off YouTube. Man. I didn't get it off YouTube. Got I got damn it from beat uh, off of YouTube. Nah, I got it from a uh, sound clip. You sued clip. for that damn beat. Nah, I bought the beat. Okay, I you bought the sure beat. The beat was clip. <laughs> I bought it. So you did. You got it off SoundCloud. Yeah. No, not SoundCloud. Sound, sound clip. Sound clip. Okay. Yeah. And 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 when you uh um who do you like working with the most? Like when you're producing them, when you when you're doing your I'm like who who do you like to rock with? I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah, because it's my first album. I've been making music, but I always bounced around. So now I got a good studio home. I got a good engineer. Now I'm I'm just trying Looking to piece together my team. Yeah. So. Well, definitely, team is important, man. So, man, hey, man, thank you for coming on the show, Shay. Um, I know you you got this this song out here, and it's uh, it's really different for me. It's 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 almost it's distasteful when it comes down to people's credibility. 
You know what I'm saying? But it is entertainment because it's rap. People love mess. And what you done dropped is a hell of a mess. I'm being real because it's got a lot of people involved and people talking and niggas moving here. And niggas, oh, I don't trust that nigga. I can't be with that nigga. Oh, that nigga tripping. That nigga going to do it. He going to flip, blop, blop. At the end of the day, that's a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I wish you guys the best, man. So, I mean, is every song on there about somebody? Because it seems like you talked about your daddy. You talked no, I didn't talk about my daddy on that album. I just did? made a song about him a long time ago. Oh, okay. So, who you talk about on that damn album? Mother? Me, more than anybody. It's, the album is just about what led up to prison, life during prison, and life after. What other song would you like? Would say is the, the next one that would... That's just like, yeah, nigga, come on with it. <laughs> What's the next song that's big? Let's be real. That I'm talking about. Who these talking about? That <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's that next song? The one that you would say, the next one that that, that you're going to push after this one. I'm going to say Wreck Yard Flow. Oh, you was out there. Well, you ain't do nothing in the Wreck Yard, nigga. Don't, what is this song about? Say it, man. You just told me you you didn't really, you couldn't rock with you too focused on a thing. What was going on with that Wreck Yard? I was working out. You know what I'm saying? I was oh. doing a little something. You okay. know, playing a little chess out there, just, you know. Okay, that nah. I'm just I'm just you, you, know. you, you got you got are you probably be dropping them balls out there, nigga. They wanna You hear ain't even heard it. No, I'm finna listen to it. <laughs> and I wanna hear that I wanna hear that song, Reg Yard Flow. Who is what's my next one? Give me give me a pen, baby. Let me see if this nigga uh, line. He got a pen over there. You got mm -hmm. a pen? Yeah, I know you got a pen the way you be keeping all with papers and stuff. <laughs> nigga, you got a pen. You got pad, paper, and everything. Okay, Reg Yard Flow. Mm -hmm. What's that other one? I'm gonna say buried. Buried. What that about? <laughs> That's just about like the comeback, coming coming home, just okay. talking that shit. Oh, man, buried. Okay, I'm gonna go listen to them too, and and, and, and get buy into them both and see what you got going because you you definitely got. Like I said, the only one I heard is that one letter to a snitch. That thing flowing around the city, man. And did you think it would do it like that? You did. Yeah. yeah. That's good, man. Well, hey, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. We love you. Man, I appreciate you. Say, nigga, don't be so serious on with the mic. Nigga, I want to see you in the next song. You gonna, you got a song because I'm happy or anything, nigga? <laughs> Hop along if you feel. Yeah. Happy that you out. <laughs> <laughs> did you do a first day out? No, but ah, I, 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 nigga, yeah, man. You both did a first day out. Shit, I was you in the halfway house. It. You still can do it. A year later? Yeah, nigga, let's see what you was like. You remember what was going on that first day? You didn't know that they had came out with uh what what happened in, in a two year span? COVID shots, nigga. They were doing COVID shots at Elkutz, nigga. You can talk about that. You know what I'm talking oh, oh, yeah, 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 you know, am I right? COVID <laughs> shots at CVS, nigga. Yeah, different things change. Nigga, I ain't know they were doing COVID shots at the CVS. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, man, but thank you for coming on the show, man. Man, appreciate you. Man, hey, man, if you ever want to come back, you got a new project popping, let me know, man. Tap in, you know already the routine, man. You know what I'm saying? I wish you, uh, you know, much success on your endeavors, bro. I appreciate it. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out. The boss.